Hello and welcome to DNA's Garage and today I'm going to be working on my Nissan and I'm going to be replacing the fuel sending unit since it got stuck the other days and it left me stranded um, a couple miles out and it turns out that it just didn't read that there was no gas in the tank. So, so since we are opening the tank, um, I just want to make sure that I'm well protected since the last time I've changed my fuel pump I got a whole chemical reaction on my hand and it did change colors so I'm trying to avoid that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put long sleeves and I'm also gonna be wearing gloves at all time and I do recommend this if you're opening your fuel tank that way you don't get any degree the debris uh, mixed in with the gas and just avoid your hand changing colors and getting chemicals reaction so now let's change real quick and there's nothing more protective right now so we're back and we're gonna get started um first thing i need to do is clean my car disgusting look at this oh my god this is what happens when you're a mechanic all right so let's clean that up and the other thing that we need to do is we have to remove the bottom uh, the cushion and we also have to remove a metal bracket but uh, we'll get into that all right let's get started Nobody ever gonna challenge me. Starting my week on a Sunday. They think they can make it a one day. I just been ready. Favorite store. So we're all cleaned up and the first thing you gotta do is there's two 14 millimeters down here and this bottom half of this bottom cushion is gonna come out. So you push the seat belts through. Second thing is, we gotta remove all of this, and we're gonna use a 10 millimeter just to remove this one. This one is all good. Alright, so <clears throat> now what we need to do is remove this metal bracket right here and it's all surrounded by this plastic cover so we need to remove these uh, plastic there it is plastic um, pins and then all these will come out and it will show a bunch of 10 millimeters that we also have to remove so Alright, so this is the plate that goes, that blocks everything from the cabin into the actual tank. And there's four more tents. And then 
here we have two connections. We have the power for the fuel, the fuel pump, and we have what uh, we're actually looking for, which is the fuel, the sending unit. Back. All right, and then now we have the two hoses over here, and then we have this uh, locking nut for the tank and this sp spacer right here. I don't recommend this. This is no, but yolo. The feed line and the return line because I have a feeling that they're gonna come back to buy me in. This is the main seal, and this is the O-ring, and this is the locking nut. And what we're after is. Oh, it's cold. Oh, there you go. Got it. There you go. There's the big guy. $700 just so it can focus. There it is. This right here. Um, it's worn out and it's not making any contact so I would guess that this is broken look at this nice and new it's about to lose his first time seeing gasoline gonna be there for a long time buddy so much for protecting my hand their little guy is the one in the blue the blue wire where it goes oh, right there and that's the fuel pump and that's the clip right there that I couldn't get in And look at that, it's working. Let's see if I can zoom in. There you go, it's working. And the other one was so off, it said I had a full tank. Then again, I don't know if this one is working yet anyway, so. So I put everything back together and now at least I have a clean car. And I hope it works. On the dash, it seemed to be working, but fingers Look crossed. At this dude. All right, this is gonna be it for this video. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like down below. Also, subscribe. I'm gonna be posting more and more content, and can't wait to get my new engine in into this ugly project car. And it's gonna be boosted. It's gonna be lots of fun. So, stay tuned.